And then I'm gonna add expires. I'm gonna get geo leads, the dialer, and expired leads. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. If you had an extra thousand dollars a month to invest somewhere, where would where would which would put his money? Well, if I don't have and this is if I don't have anything yet, first thing I'm gonna do is get Red X. I'm gonna get Red X Geo Leads for 50 bucks a month and then a dialer for like $100 or 150 a month. And then I'm gonna add expires. I'm gonna get Geo Leads, the dialer, and expired leads. That, that would be really all I need. And then, my, and then I could do $50 a month for constant contacts to do the weekly email. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. I don't even need social media. I post social media, I post on social media, but I, you know, that's there. But I'm not using it, I'm not running ads, I'm not doing anything with it. And I didn't even do social media until I got into coaching. I got to 100 deals a year and a million dollars a year in income without social media. I wasn't, I wasn't, didn't even have an Instagram or I didn't post on Facebook, nothing. I didn't do anything on social media at all. Uh, all my social media, if you'll notice, is mostly just coaching stuff, not real estate stuff. Because, you know, just don't use it. Because the thing is, with real estate, it's like lawyers aren't going anywhere, right? Legal Zoom came along. And everybody's like, oh, lawyers are gone. You know, it's going to replace lawyers. Now we got, you know, Redfin and Amazon and all this coming along saying, oh, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, re real estate's such a person to person. Like, there's got to be that consultation. You know, I don't care, you know, how far technology comes. You can walk through a house, virtual reality, do these deals seamlessly and stuff. They're going to want someone. Like, there's foundation problems they don't know about. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's things that, that you just can't do digitally. You got to have somebody you trust there. Where are you guys at? Uh, Staten Island, New York. Okay. Is there, what's the commission right there? Staten Island is like one of the worst markets. People, there, there, there's so many discount brokers, it's absolutely crazy. I think the standard commission would probably be around 4%. Okay. But there's people that put it for three and even 2%. They're not That's gonna last, they're not gonna last, okay? They're gonna go right out of business. Because if you look at the discount brokers, like Redfin, for example, how much money they're losing, right? Because the thing is, is they've hired employees. Our, our traditional real estate brokerage has the broker, but they don't pay for employees. All the agents are self-employed. You know what I'm saying? They don't have any expenses. So, but Redfin actually hires employees to go and do the listing appointment and do all this and do all that, show property and stuff. They're employees of Redfin. Right. And so their expenses are higher than a traditional brokerage, but their fees are lower. Right. See what I'm saying? So their, their expenses are up and their, their, their income is down from a traditional brokerage and that's why they're losing money. And this that, that just doesn't work. And two, if you look at the customer reviews of Redfin, Go look at the customer reviews. It's absolutely horrible. And so, like, as the market moves forward, all these discount brokerages and, and stuff are gonna get weeded out, you know? It's just a matter of time before the market just weeds them out. They can't lose money forever. You know, it's why, right. it's why Purple Bricks left. Purple Bricks right. left the US because they were losing so much money and they didn't see an end in sight. And I do believe there is a possibility that commission across the board could go down to four as a standard. Because where, where, where I'm at, it's five or six right now. But even if it, if it goes to four and we're paying buyers, agents two, and we're getting to, it's still super lucrative. Right. You know what I mean? And the new agents coming into the business that never knew what five or six felt like and they're getting two, they're happy as hell. And so we're not going anywhere. Sure, commission rates could get squeezed a little, but we're still not going anywhere. You know, people still need somebody to help them sh to, to, to show property, to set up the appointments. People, most people do not want to deal with trying to sell it on their own. They don't want to deal with, you know, all the setting up of all the showings and dealing with all that and then negotiating the deal and doing all the paperwork and then setting up the closing and doing the inspection and the uh, appraisals and uh, financing is just too much involved, you know, for people to do it on their own. It'd be like me trying to go, you know, frame my own house, you know, I'm just not gonna, you know, I don't know how the boards go, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> give me a nail gun and stuff. So I can roof it, I used to roof houses, 